Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm going to show you how our power pack works and I'm going to go over some troubleshooting tips for making your own light up cards. If you're unfamiliar with the power pack, it's a battery holder and a light switch combo that makes creating light up cards faster and easier. They're available in kits with everything that you need to make three light up cards or if you already have your own LEDs and copper tape, you can get them by themselves or in packs of three. First, let me show you the unit itself. You can see that the uh, positive and negative or plus and minus sides are clearly marked. There are silver pads to connect your tape to on the top and the bottom. The battery holder has a CR2016 coin cell battery already installed. You want to make sure that the positive side is up. And then the little purple button is our switch. So to adhere my power pack in place, I like to use a strong double-sided tape like Super Tape. This is uh, from ThermoWeb. You could also use a wet glue, but just be careful if you do. You don't want the glue to seep under those silver pads. You could accidentally short out the card. Normally you would build your circuit on a card base or scrapbook page, but just for demonstration purposes today, I'm going to build mine on a craft mat here. These are Chibitronics LED circuit stickers. You can see there is a light in the center. The negative and positive sides are marked on the, the sticker. And then there's a letter to indicate the color and the little black uh, rectangle on the side there is a resistor and I'll come back to that in a minute. The most important thing you wanna keep in mind when you're building a circuit is that positive sides are gonna to connect to positive sides and negative to negative. So you're gonna run plus to plus and minus to minus. You will connect the two with copper tape, and the copper tape that comes in our kit has conductive adhesive. Notice that when I'm sticking it down, I'm leaving a tail both before and after the power pack and the LED sticker. Um, I'm leaving a long tail after the LED sticker so I can add some more lights to the line here, but um, I am recommending that you leave at least a quarter to a half inch before and after, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. Also notice that I'm catching the pads of the the power pack and the, st the sticker there with the side of the tape, not the cut or the torn edges. And then you just want to push the tape down. Um, you, you want it to bend nicely and fold, not crack. And then press the button and you've got a, a light up circuit there. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now uh, remember I mentioned that the letter indicates the color of the lights. Chibitronics lights come in multiple colors. All of our kits only have the white. I think they're the most um, versatile and I, if I want a different color, oftentimes I'll just add a, a piece of colored vellum on top. But I do wanna show you some other uh, options here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick this red light right on top of my circuit. Now that's on top of the tape because the Chibitronics um, the adhesive on the sticker is also conductive. That means the electricity can jump through it. So you see, you can connect it above or below the tape. Okay. So now what happens if you get a break or a tear in your tape? If you're using copper tape that has conductive adhesive, um, it's actually very simple to, to fix. You can use another piece of copper tape, like a Band-Aid. Um, and you'll notice I ran out on my spool, but this is the same tape. It has the, the conductive adhesive. And in our kit, you get um, a good amount of copper tape. You have more than enough to build your three cards, no problem. But I have built half a dozen cards so far <laughs> on that spool here. Um, so what I did was I just tore off another piece of tape, and then I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And I left a good half inch or so on either side of the gap there so that it's overlapping by a good ways. Now, every time you break the tape, you'll add a little more resistance to the line, but it should work just fine. And you can even add another light uh, to the circuit if you want. And I'm just pushing it down with my fingernails, okay? So, like I said, it's very important to keep the uh, positive sides on the right, on on one end and the negative sides on the other line. Think of it as a ladder. So your tape is the sides or the rails of your ladder and your LEDs and your power pack are the rungs. They're gonna go across. You can have that 
bend and curve, that's fine. Just keep track of which side is the positive rail and which is a negative. Now let's talk about copper tape. Um, again, this tape has conductive adhesive, but the more you touch it, just like regular tape, you will lose tackiness and you will pick up skin cells, oils, whatever on your finger, and that creates more resistance. More resistance is bad. So that's why um, I leave a tail on either end of my pads so that any place that I've touched uh, will have, won't have fingerprints on it. Okay. Now, another way to reduce resistance is to avoid breaking the lines. So you can curve the tape gently or you can fold it. And folding it is um, probably going to seem a little bit weird. In this case, I want to change the direction of my tape and make it go up. So first, I'm going to fold it in the opposite direction. I'm going to fold it down and then I can fold it again and go in the direction that I want. This keeps the uh, sticky side all down flat onto my surface there. If you just folded it once, you'd have the sticky side up. Let me show you again what I'm talking about here. So start in the direction you want to go. And again, I'm going to want to go up. So first, I'm going to fold it at a 45 degree angle down. And then I'm going to use that little stylus there to help hold it in place. And I will change the direction and go up. One more time. So to go to the right, first I'm going to fold to the left. You see that? And now the sticky side is up, so I need to fold it in the other direction. See? And it doesn't have to be, you know, an exact 45 degree angle. You can make a, a tighter curve than you would if you were just folding the, the tape into a curve itself. Okay? Another thing you might be tempted to do is to burnish your connections with a bone folder or something like that. I'm going to encourage you not to do that. Um, for some reason, when I give it a, a strong burnish with my bone folder, I tend to lose the connection there, especially when the tape is on top. And that can be very frustrating. <laughs> um, so just use your fingers to, to push the tape down firmly and you shouldn't have any issues. Avoid your bone folder or, or the stylus to, to push down. And if you've done that, don't worry, we can fix it. All I'm going to do here is tear away these little bits of tape. And when you're working on paper, you're going to want to be careful not to rip up too much of the paper. And generally, all of this will be hidden um, because you're going to put a pretty card base on top of it. Or, I'm sorry, a card front on top of it. Um, so if you have a little bit of torn paper, it shouldn't be any big deal. And once you get the tape out of the way, I'm going to get a little more out of the way here. Once you have that tape out of the way, you can come back in with another piece of the copper tape and just cover these two lines back up like a band-aid or a pair of band-aids in this case. Okay. And see where my fingers are touching it. I'm going to make sure that I overlap by a long distance so that if there's any extra resistance in that line from the oils on my fingers, um, it's not going to affect the tape here, or it's not going to affect the connection. All right. And then I'll just go ahead and push it down again and we're back in business. All three are firing. Okay. So remember I said the little black, uh, rectangle on the side there is a resistor. Um, it's important to keep in mind that that resistor is there and you don't ever accidentally want to cover the resistor with copper tape. Um, sometimes it doesn't make a difference at all, but sometimes you can short out your circuit and, and the light won't fire. And you, of course, wouldn't ever do it on purpose, but if you have a torn edge coming up and touching, um, sometimes the, the edge is frayed and it'll accidentally touch that resistor without you realizing it. Um, in this case, I've got it on the positive side and it's not affecting it. But if the uh, tape 
is touching from the negative side, it can, uh, it can cause you to have a short, and it definitely adds more resistance to your card. Let me show you what I mean here. So now the first light is firing, the red light. The white light is not firing at all. And the yellow light is only coming on about halfway. That's because of the extra resistance that's um, added to the line. And when you get rid of it, we're back to normal. Okay? So one more thing I want to talk about real quick is battery safety. These are lithium batteries. Uh, lithium metal batteries. So that's toxic. You don't want to um, leave these around kids who could accidentally ingest them um, or choke on them. I mean, they're, they're about the size of a quarter here. So please keep these away from small children. And also, when your battery eventually wears out, please recycle it. Batteries should never go into the landfill because of the lithium, okay? Now, one more thing that people ask me about are other LEDs. Will this power pack work with other LEDs? The answer is yes, as long as they're uh, designed for three volts. Um, most of the, the little LEDs that come in craft kits are designed for LEDs, or I'm sorry, are designed for three volt batteries, like the 2016. This is one that came in a kit that my daughter had, uh, one of her, her Kiwi kits. And it's a purple UV light, so I'm sorry, it's pretty dim here. Um, hard to see when it's firing. And actually, let me just go ahead and tape this down so that you can uh, see how this works. You would put a piece of copper tape on the positive side of your LED. Just tape the LED directly to the power pack. If you're not sure which side is the positive side, sometimes they're marked with red and black. Uh, red is normally positive. If they're not marked, then look for one longer leg. The longer leg will be your, your positive side. And if you can't tell, hook it up. And if it doesn't work, flip it around the other way. <laughs> um, so you see that it, it is firing here. And again, that's a, a UV light, so it, it's not quite as bright as it would normally be. But it looks awesome with glow-in-the-dark paint and powders and that kind of stuff. Okay, last thing. There are conductive pens. And I thought, wouldn't it be awesome if you didn't have to use the copper tape, if you could just draw your circuit. And these pens are designed to repair um, a broken solder um, area on a circuit board. Unfortunately, I have never had good luck connecting um, my batteries to my LEDs using these pens. It, it seems to just be too long and too much resistance. But I've tried it over and over again. At best, I've gotten very dim lights to come on. And I'm just going to show you here. Um, these pens have a really thick... Uh, it's a, The substance in there is pretty thick and goopy. It also smells terrible. So if you're going to try it, make sure that you are using it in a well-ventilated area. And you want to let it dry for a little bit first, too. Man, that stuff is stinky. <laughs> Okay, so after it's dry, you would need to make sure that you have the pads connected. If you have any um, air between the two, there's not enough power to jump through the air there. It's only three volts. So you want that connected, and then you'd stick your light in place. Again, positive to positive, negative to negative side. And then give it a shot. Unfortunately, in this case, it didn't fire at all. Again, like I said, I've tried it a few times, a um, bunch of different ways, and at best, I've just had uh, just very super dim lights come on. So, unfortunately, I cannot recommend these pens. Thanks for checking out all of our tips and techniques today. I hope that I've answered any of your questions and that you'll be inspired to make some light-up cards of your own. Remember, the power pack comes in kits that include the LEDs and tape. Um, if you already have those, you can get the power packs individually and save yourself the, the hassle of creating your own paper switch. 
Here's a link to some inspirational videos showing you the power pack in action. Check them out. They're full of bright ideas.